New developments in the Elizabeth Holmes trial. A witness testifies that Holmes was cagey in her responses to questions about Theranos technology. KPI X5's Lynn Ramirez is live in San Jose with more details on today's trial. Len? Well, this witness was from another pharmaceutical company that was interested in Theranos, but was also carefully checking into the technology and didn't like the answers they were getting back from Elizabeth Holmes, the answers that they said were being very insufficient. Constance Cullen was a scientist working for pharmaceutical company Sharing Plow, which was interested in the Theranos technology in 2009. But in a meeting with Holmes and Theranos executives, Cullen said Holmes gave cagey answers to technical questions and interrupted other executives to stop them from answering. The deal fell through, but prosecutors showed the jury materials that Holmes later used in a presentation to Walgreens that carried the Sharing Plow logo, falsely portraying the company as having validated the Theranos. Technology. Once it could be an oversight, twice it starts looking intentional. Santa Clara Law Professor Ellen Kreisberg says it's the second time the jury has heard that Holmes misrepresented reputable companies, the first being Pfizer. These are documents that are very straightforward, easy for the public, for jurors to understand. It goes straight to her knowledge of misinformation, and from that they can infer that she intended to defraud by doing it. Prominent attorney Daniel Mosley next took the witness stand. Mosley said he was asked by his friend, former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, to investigate Theranos as an investment opportunity for them both. Mosley said he too was fooled by the Pfizer logo documents and had questions about the company, but ultimately recommended Kissinger invest. Mosley also invested $6 million after writing to like Holmes to that he was, quote, enamored with what she was doing. Len, I understand there was a slight disruption in court today. What happened? Well, uh, everything came to a screeching halt uh, this morning after the court clerk noticed that a man in the gallery was taking pictures. Uh, taking pictures or recording uh, the trial proceedings in federal court mm. is forbidden. That's why we have court uh, artists, you know, sketching uh, what goes on there. We can't shoot any video there. So this man was taking pictures and he was ordered by the judge to come up. He had to make sure that those photos were being erased and he was admonished uh, for doing that. He said that marshals would be taking action if he was seen doing that again. This trial has had, Liz, as you've uh, been following, just about everything. Everything, <laughs> truly. Another day, another drama. All right, Len, thank you.